It feels like we've had rain for two weeks. It has been impossible to work in this garden. So let's go see what's going on out here. At some point during all the rain, my onions fell over and they are ready to come out. And my onions have done beautiful this year. So this week it's supposed to be sunny here for several days in a row. So I ought to be able to get those out finally. My peppers are doing great. Look at all those banana peppers in there. Got several green and orange peppers. And in there are my nata pinos, those little fake jalapenos, and those are finally growing, which is great. I've been looking forward to those. My tomatoes are getting a lot of fruit on them and starting to flower. I'm starting to see tomatoes finally. The only problem is I'm getting that blight or whatever that is that just decimates them this time of year. Someone's helping me garden today. I planted my pumpkins and squash along the fence and they're going crazy. I have about a million spaghetti squash on there, but I'm not seeing my butternut anywhere. I'll have to go dig around and see. My celery is in there. The rest of my beets and my carrots, they are all, you see the carrots in there doing great. The squash is producing more than the chickens and I can eat. Everyone else has been long exhausted from squash to give it away already. Got some more tomatoes over here and some more peppers back there. The garlic is getting buried by the squash and that also needs to come out. It's just been a matter of dry days to get it. And this is my cantaloupe and I actually have a few little ones in there. There's one in there. If you can see it, cantaloupe does well. Watermelon doesn't seem to do well for us. Here's my little tree farm. I keep buying trees and planting them, but this year I just used what was growing in my garden. I have an awesome collection of maples and some oaks and a red bud and got some dogwood trees from someone that was giving them away too. There's dill. And now, believe it or not, it's raining again, even though it wasn't supposed to today. Here's the Swiss chard. The horseradish is amazing. Catnip. Got mints over here and the strawberries. Some volunteer squash of some sort is coming up in the compost back there. I've just been letting it grow. And I have some peppers and tomatoes back here that had nowhere else to go. The asparagus looks beautiful. It's all ferned up now, ready for next year. My sweet potatoes are taking off just in time because all the potatoes died off, so it's time to get those out. Once it stops raining, you know the story. So as is usual for this time of year, especially as much rain as we've had, it looks like a jungle through there. Okay, I'm gonna pretend like it's not pouring rain because it's really not supposed to be. So I'm just gonna keep filming as though it's not. So this is my broccoli and it needs to be cut. It's starting to flower. But this is the first year I've ever kept broccoli this long. And I used that BT spray and that has worked really well to keep the worms and caterpillars out of it. So I'm really happy with that. And I have gotten a lot more broccoli through the summer than I ever have this year. All right, and there are the cucumbers and they're starting to look a little ill. So I'm gonna plant some more somewhere else and try to keep my cucumbers going. And last but not least, here's all my beans. Finally starting to get some beans. I had to plant them, I think, three times this year. And the blackberries are starting to finally ripen. I just had one and it was delicious. They're just starting to turn. These are so good. There's the next batch of zucchini and broccoli that I'm gonna put in when it's not raining. Here are my little flowers. They're a little unkept and got weedy, but they're so pretty, aren't they? Looks like maybe a tomato or something growing in there. 
Meanwhile, Steve was very busy today getting this hooked up. It's an automatic door. We have wanted one of these for a long time and finally have it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you the next time. Somebody is terrified of storms. Poor girl. And we get a lot of storms and fireworks and target practicing around here. <laughs>